Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer tax deductible donations to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. This is a problem for exam P on probability. A company offers earthquake insurance. An annual premiums are modeled by an exponential random variable with mean 2. Annual claims are modeled by an exponential random variable with mean 1. Premiums and claims are independent. Let x denote the ratio of claims to premiums. What is the density function of x? So let us write u for the annual claims and v for the annual premiums, both random variables, and let uh, f sub u v of u v be the uh, joint density of them. Um, let f sub x be the density of x and let sub f sub x be its cumulative distribution function. We are given that u and v are independent and therefore uh, the joint density is a product of individual densities and uh, the first one is exponential with mean 1, and so um, its density is e to the minus u. And the second one uh, is uh, exponential with mean 2, and therefore the density is um, the reciprocal of the mean, so 1 half times e to the 1 half times v. Um, because the hazard rate is one half if the mean is two, and we multiply it out, and the joint density is one half e to the minus u times e to the minus v over two, for both u and v between zero and plus infinity. And then I'll show you the graph of um, the um, uv uh, two-dimensional plane, in which uh, we will. Um, look at uh, a certain area. So this is the graph um, and this uh, two-dimensional UV uh, uh, plane um, what uh, the, the line um, at an angle uh, going through the origin is the line where U is equal to V times X or V is equal to uh, U over X uh, because um, x is defined as uh, u over v. So then if we have a specific value of x, then all the points where u is equal to vx lie along a line like this. And then above that line, um, v is more than uh, u over x. Because uh, along the line v is equal to ux and higher values of v are higher in this graph. Well, higher values of u, of course, are to the right. But we're interested, eventually you'll see that we're interested in the area where v is more than u over x. And what we do is we, we try to establish what the CDF of x is. And that's by definition the probability uh, that x is less than or equal to a specific value of low x. But x is equal to u over v, so this is the probability that u over v is less than or equal to x, which is the probability that u is less than or equal to vx. And then, in that two-dimensional plane, you, we can indicate this as the region where the values of v run from 0 to infinity, but u runs only from um, 0 to vx. And so we take the double integral over that region of the joint density. Uh, first we take the integral from uh, 0 to uh, vx of the variable that is only a function, uh, the expression as a function of u. And we have 1 half e to the minus u times e to the minus v over 2, so e to the minus v over 2 is a constant with respect to u. So we only take the uh, integral of um, that uh, one half 
e to, well, actually, one half is also a constant. It's just e to the minus u that we integrate. And so we're integrating e to the minus u. The integral of e to the minus u is minus e to the minus u. And we evaluate that from u equal to 0 to u equal to vx. And we obtain now a function of v, of course, with x as this parameter for which we're trying to figure out the probability of x is less than equal to x. So this becomes the integral from 0 to plus infinity of minus 1 half e to the minus vx times e to the minus v over 2 plus, uh, because of minus minus in that evaluation, uh, uh, 1 half e to the minus v over 2 dv. So in the first expression, we just factor um, the exponent factor out the v in the exponent of minus v, and we have one minus one half e to the minus v times x plus one half, plus one half e to the minus v over two, and we split this into two integrals. Half of the integral from zero to plus infinity of e to the minus v times x uh, plus one half dv, and if we treat this as a survival function, then this is the integral of the survival function, so it must be a mean of exponential random variable with hazard rate x plus one half, because the survival function of exponential distribution is e to the minus lambda times the variable, where and lambda here is x plus one half. And the second expression is integral from zero to plus infinity of e to the minus v over two dv. That's a mean of exponential with hazard rate one half, because v is multiplied by one half. Um, and that mean is, of course, 2, and 2 multiplied by 1 half gives us 1, while the first expression has negative uh, 1 half times the mean of exponential with hazard rate of x plus 1 half, which is 1 over that x plus 1 half. And, of course, minus 1 half times 1 over x plus 1 half gives us what you see here, minus 1 over 2x plus 1 plus 1. And plus one comes from the second integral, of course. And the density of this random variable is uh, the derivative of what we see here. So it's uh, 2 over 2x two plus 1 squared, which is answer B. Uh, please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself comes from Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.